Hello, uh, my name's Mike, and this is the Adams 161 channel, and I wanna give a brief video on accessibility. What is accessibility and how does it pertain to chess? We're gonna be looking at an iPad. Here we are, normal iPad. If you wanna turn accessibility on, you go to settings, And then accessibility is here. And then you have, uh, I need to get a better angle, voiceover. And we go voiceover on. Voiceover on. Settings. So it's talking to me and I go down and I want to show you an app that is accessible. First we'll click here. Page one of four. Adjustable. Whoops. Showing to date edit. Whoops, that's not right. Face time. Page one of four. Adjustable. Page two of four. Page two of four. And we go to Pulsar. Pulsar. Double tap. Double tap to open. Pulsar pops up. Now, what is accessibility in chess? 39 chess one, E6. Use the rotor to enable direct touch for this app. If you go to a web page and there's images and the person doesn't have vision, they're blind, you, you typically, the developer puts alt tags and if they can't see the image, they can read the text. So how can a chessboard be accessible? It means each square has to return text for the image. Watch this. D2 white palm, button, people, E2 empty, button. And I double tap. D2 white palm, button, heading not found. Let's see. D2 white palm. Now we've selected. D4 empty, button. D2, ellipsis, D5. So it, it speaks the squares. C2 white palm, button. B2 white palm, button. And it allows movement and it has speak move. This means a blind person can play chess. D8 black queen, button. It, it's similar to when you, if you've ever heard of a blind person playing over the board, they just touch the pieces on the board to see where things are. Well, on the iPad app, because the squares are returning text, they can touch around and see what's there. B2 wide palm button. Let's look at some other apps. Short. Uh, go here. Page two of four, page three of four, page four of four. I'm looking for lie chess. Page three of four. Page two of four. Lie chess. Liches. Double tap to open. Liches. Liches. Shred liches. Edit home screen. Oops. Dismiss context menu. Button. Let's see. I'm gonna have to open Short it. Shortcuts. Shortcuts. Short. Lie chess. Liches. There, we're open. Liches, this is a play the computer Liches, mode in live chess. If I tap here, e. it says E. That's because there's the E for the E file. So it catches that. E. G. This, this does nothing, kind of a boink. This board is not accessible. G. Let's try another program. Uh, let's see. Small chess. Small chess. Landscape. Small chess. Nothing. Shortcuts. I seem to have music on. Well, I'm gonna call it a day. 
Let me, is there any way to turn this music off? Uh, for the music player. Uh, we've stopped it. <laughs> some, of, some of my other apps are accessible as well. I've written all these apps and I've added accessibility. Selected E2 wide pawn button. People D4 legal square to move button. D4 legal square to move. But if D4 legal square to move. It's a little tricky to when you're holding it like this, but D4 legal square heading not found. We'll move it like that. D4 legal square to move button. One D4. Now it moves. I've made all four of my apps accessible, and it's just a matter of returning text when they tap on a square. There's different ways to do it on Android and iOS. Let's, real quick. We're going to settings. This is an Android device. And we're going to, there's, this is an Android device. There's accessibility towards the bottom there. And then it has screen reader towards the top. And voice assistant. And it has a warning and turn on. Be careful when turning this on if you don't know how to use it because it's going to be a little difficult to use. Voice assistant on. Home, email, sign in. One and we're gonna recent. recent overview, recent app, Pulsar. 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 One UI home, recent app. And here's Pulsar on Android. Page one of two, default page. And, and I, Pulsar. let's see what happens when we tap it. B2 white pawn. C2 white pawn. B2 white pawn. So uh, this was more difficult. I don't have swiping supported on, uh, on this, you can tap here, e wide pawn. E wide pawn. F wide pawn. and you can just swipe. And 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 that's another method of moving around. On Android, I wasn't able to get that working, but direct tap is working. Uh, swiping is good if they're if you're totally blind. It's a way to control it from like just holding your finger in one spot and swipe through the whole screen. If you're not totally blind, direct tap can be even a little easier because you can sort of see where things are, but you just don't know what they are. So you tap. B1 white queen. Well, that's a wrap. That's accessibility. And this is the Adams 161 channel.